Hey, what is up? So welcome back to another Final Cut 10 video. It's been a while, lots of stuff going on. And today I want to talk about my export workflow from Final Cut 10 to YouTube to H.264 in this case. So first of all, I want to talk about quickly about my, well, project setting. This is kind of essential, so to speak. I chose ProRes HQ for my project and um, uh, yeah, this is also my export codec, so to speak, because while I'm using this, the uh, background rendering, which I set to 8 seconds, is doing all the work while I'm editing and going for coffee and stuff like that, so I always let Final Cut render my sequence or my project so to say in the background even though it's not in the background but anyways so when i'm done with an edit usually it's all rendered and when i export i use those ProRes files that are in the background somewhere on my hard drive basically to export a master file. I always export a master file. I go to share, master file, just double check. Yes, it's the source setting from my project, ProS HQ in this case, LT is also good uh, if you want to save a bit more drive space. And then I export this. There you go, and um, even though this is not a really long project, it should go quite a bit fast, faster than exporting an H.264 right inside of Final Cut, or even, even worse, send it to Compressor, because somehow the H.264 export, especially on a system with an eGPU like mine, I have a Radeon 7 and an eGPU box somewhere here, seems to be broken or not optimized or something is going on and it's really, really slow. So my advice would be not to use H.264 with Final Cut 10 or compressor. And a good thing also is, if you have that ProS master file, and the client needs a 720p version or another codec, maybe even a Windows media file, whatever. You don't have to open up the Final Cut project, you just use your master file. So there you go, here is the final project. And what I use for my H.264 encoding is a tool called Handbrake. It is uh, around for quite a bit, but it's always updated. So I just open up my ProS master file that I just exported and then I have my own presets but it comes with quite a few nice presets that you can use for YouTube and stuff like that even at uh, 4K and stuff like that but I'm using always my own presets I know a lot of color creators and stuff like that they are also using this for H.264 YouTube delivery and they say it's the most efficient encoder and also the colors are quite good and what I set it up is usually go for a thousand um, two pass encoding because the first pass uh, handbrake actually analyzes the video other encoders do that as well in the first pass and then it can do an efficient second encoding run and that way file sizes get a little bit lower or smaller and the bit rate is used most effectively so you don't get like little artifacts and stuff like that and it is really an efficient encoder so yeah and there you go i let it run yeah, so this is that and um, by the way, you also can encode more video files. You have like a queue and you can queue up more video files um, so you can open up even while encoding another video. It remembers the last setting or you can choose a different setting and just add it to the queue and there you go when the first one is finished 
the second one will start and so on. Yeah, so there you go. This is my basic workflow. I go from Final Cut with a ProRes Master to Handbrake and then to YouTube or the client. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and uh, see you on the next one.